the greater Israel. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless him that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Genesis chapter 12 verses 1 to 3. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, and the people whom he had chosen for his own inheritance. Sam chapter 33 verse 12. In the same day the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, Unto thy seed have I given this land, from the river of Egypt unto the great river, the river Euphrates, and the Kenites, and the Canizites, and the Cadmonites, and the Hittites, and the Perizzites, and the Rephaim, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Girgashites, and the Jebusites. Genesis chapter 15 verses 18 to 21. And I will give unto thee, and to thy seed after thee, the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession, and thou will be their God. Genesis chapter 17 verse 8. And God spake unto Moses, and said unto him, I am the Lord, and I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, by the name of God Almighty. But by my name Jehovah was I not known to them. And I have also established my covenant with them, to give them the land of Canaan, the land of their pilgrimage, wherein they were strangers. Exodus chapter 6, verses 2 to 4. I am the Lord your God, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, to give you the land of Canaan, and to be your God. Leviticus chapter 25, verse 38. Turn you, and take your journey, and go to the mount of the Amorites, and unto all the places nigh thereunto, in the plain, in the hills, and in the vale, and in the south, and by the seaside, to the land of the Canaanites, and unto Lebanon, and unto the great river, the river Euphrates. Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in, and possess the land which the Lord sware unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to their seed after them. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verses 7 to 8. For if ye shall diligently keep all these commandments which I command you, to do them, to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, and to cleave unto him, then will the Lord drive out all these nations from before you, and ye shall possess greater nations and mightier than yourselves. Every place whereon the soles of your feet shall tread shall be yours, from the wilderness and Lebanon, from the river, the river Euphrates, even unto the uttermost sea shall your coast be. There shall no man be able to stand before you, for the Lord your God shall lay the fear of you and the dread of you upon all the land that he shall tread upon, as he hath said unto you. Deuteronomy chapter 11 verses 22 to 25. Get thee up into this mountain Abra, unto Mount Nebo, which is in the land of Moab, that is over against Jericho. And behold the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel for a possession. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 49. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you. As I said unto Moses, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of a good courage, for unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land, which I swear unto their fathers to give thee. Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 to 6. And these are the countries which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel, distributed for inheritance to them. Joshua chapter 14, verse 1. David smote also Hadadezer, the son of Rehob, king of Zobah, as he went to recover his border at the river Euphrates. 2 Samuel chapter 8, verse 3. Even of the covenant which he made with Abraham, and of his oath unto Isaac, and hath confirmed the same to Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance, when ye were but few, even a few and strangers in it. 
First Chronicles chapter 16, verses 16 to 19. And David smote Hadarezer king of Zobah unto Haman, as he went to establish his dominion by the river Euphrates. First Chronicles chapter 18, verse 3. Which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath to Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance, when they were but a few men in number, yea, very few, and strangers in it. Psalm chapter 105, verses 9 to 12. Who smote great nations and slew mighty kings, Sihon king of the Amorites, and Og king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, and gave their land for an heritage, and heritage unto Israel his people. Thy name, O Lord, endureth forever, and thy memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. Psalm chapter 135, verses 10 to 13. And it was in the fifteenth year of Abram's dwelling in the land of Canaan, which is the seventieth year of the life of Abram. And the Lord appeared to Abram in that year, and he said to him, I am the Lord who brought thee out from Ur Kasdim to give thee this land for an inheritance. Now therefore walk before me, and be perfect, and keep my commands. For to thee and to thy seed I will give this land for an inheritance, from the river Mitzrayim, and to the great river Euphrates. Jasher chapter 13, verses 17 to 18. And Esau rose up and returned to Jacob, and did all that Nebaioth the son of Ishmael had advised. And Esau took all the riches that Isaac had left, the souls, the beasts, the cattle, and the property, and all the riches, he gave nothing to his brother Jacob. And Jacob took all the land of Canaan, from the brook of Egypt unto the river Euphrates, and he took it for an everlasting possession, and for his children and for his seed after him forever. And these are the words which Jacob wrote in the book, saying, The land of Canaan and all the cities of the Hittites, the Hevites, the Jebusites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, and the Girgashites, all the seven nations from the river of Egypt unto the river Euphrates. Jasher chapter 47, verses 24 and 27. And it was after the death of Moses that the Lord said to Joshua the son of Nun, saying, Rise up and pass the Jordan to the land which I have given to the children of Israel, and thou shalt make the children of Israel inherit the land. Every place upon which the sole of your feet shall tread shall belong to you. From the wilderness of Lebanon unto the great river, the river of Pirath, shall be your boundary. Jasher chapter 88, verses 1 to 3. And he said unto him, I am the Lord that brought thee out of Ur of the Chaldees, to give thee the land of the Canaanites, to possess it forever. And I will be God unto thee, and to thy seed after thee. And on that day the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, To thy seed will I give this land, from the river of Egypt, and to the great river, the river of Euphrates, the Kenites, the Canizites, the Cadmonites, the Perizzites, and the Rephaim, the Phacorites, and the Hevites, and the Amorites and the Canaanites, and the Girgashites, and the Jebusites. Jubilees chapter 14, verses 7 and 18. And I will give to thee and to thy seed after thee the land where thou hast been a sojourner, the land of Canaan, that thou mayest possess it forever, and I will be their God. Jubilees chapter 15, verse 10. And I said to my father Jacob, By thee will the Lord despoil the Canaanites, and will give their land to thee and to thy seed after thee. Testament of Levi, chapter 3, verse 10. And after these things shall there arise unto you the Lord himself, Jesus Christ, the light of righteousness, and ye shall return unto your land. Testament of Zebulun, chapter 2, verse 32. And after ye have become diminished and made few, ye return and acknowledge the Lord your God, and he shall bring you back into your land, according to his abundant mercy. Testament of Naphtali, chapter 1, verse 30.